Today, I wanted to go over five sneakers that you can get right now that's going for below retail. Now, look, I know that there are a lot of other sneakers out there that have gone below retail or are below retail, but these are five that I picked out that are good picks that you can get some bang for your buck. Thank you again for tuning into the channel. This is Tori, aka T with Drip TV. I appreciate it. Thank you again. If you're new here, please consider like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. If you've been here before, I appreciate you stopping in again. If you like sneaker content, this is the place to be. So let's get into the five sneakers and let's start off with number one, the Jordan 1 Low Black Toe. Now, this is a great shoe that is going for under retail right now. Uh, when they dropped, I think it was like a lot of people were getting them, but then we've seen a lot of restocks on these shoes. But if you look at the resale market right now, these are going for below retail. I know in my size and a bunch of other sizes, but this is a quality shoe with a uh, iconic color blocking with the black toe. And you know, you, you can't go wrong with Lowe's. And I think Lowe's have been one of the ones that have been one of the top performers for Nike, what they've been doing. So they've been giving us a lot of Lowe's. I did switch these out one time with the cream laces, uh, but I switched it back to black uh, just cause I wore them to work one day and I just wanted to be a little subtle. So I didn't want to stand out too much. So I changed them back into the black, but these are a good shoe where you can change up the laces, swap it out. And uh, again, if they're going for below retail, great shoe, iconic shoe, a shoe you can beat up and just wear and it looks better as you wear it. So let's go on to number two. Now, number two is a Jordan 4. Now, this Jordan 4 just released not too long ago. It's very fairly recently. So, and it is the Jordan 4 Craft. Now, I don't have this sneaker in my collection. I decided to pass on it even though it is a nice looking sneaker and now you can get it for below retail and a lot of the sizes and everything so if you still like this shoe i know that they're still available probably too in some retailers if you just look around but again this shoe is modeled after the undefeated four it looks somewhat like that but the shoe is a jordan four which is a nice shoe plus it has that craft look and it's that olive colorway so it's a good fall look too so this shoe too as well is going for below retail again I didn't pick it up, um, you know, despite it being a good shoe, I had other selective, you know, picks that I needed to focus on. And this wasn't one of them, but if you choose to get this one, you can't go wrong. So let's move on to number three. Now, number three was a women's release. Now, this is my wife's pair. This is a size 10 in women's. And this also came with the little bag with it. I don't think the bag is in here. I think she's already started using it, but if you already know what I'm talking about, this is the Jordan 1 Satin Brick. Now, as you can see, she hasn't laced them up yet to wear them yet, but I know she will, but it's just one of those things. Now, I did get my daughter a matching pair too, but this is like the release that came out a few years ago that is going for a few thousand dollars. But hey, right now it's a satin. I know that satin material doesn't wear well, but it's still a good shoe. It's the bread collar blocking. Can't go wrong with the bread color, color blocking. So, you know, it also does come with those extra laces right there. You got the uh, chrome lace tips on there as well. So, you know, it is a good shoe. I did mention that I wanted the Jordan 4 out of this pack more than the Jordan 3. So with that being said, this is the Jordan 3 Fear. Now this actually just came out just really, really fairly recently and they are sitting, but a lot of the sizes now you can get for below retail. They did an excellent job with the packaging as well as, um, you know, the insoles, just overall looks and appearance. It's a nice shoe. Um, if I didn't have other cops that I wanted to get, I probably would have copped this shoe. But the Jordan 3 Fear is going for below retail right now. And if you're still looking to get this shoe, um, yeah, it probably would have been better if they released it around Halloween time or something like that. But it is what it is. But Jordan 3 Fear still is a great shoe. It's still a nice pickup. It's a Jordan 3. So you know, a little bit more comfort than a four. So, you know, if you're still looking to get that, I know that there are sizes still out there available and plus two in the resale market, they are going for below retail. So maybe take a chance and look it up and see if you want to get that. But I'm hoping with the Jordan 3 Fears releasing that they release the Jordan 4 Fear because I really need those back. Now, let's move on to number five. Um, Again, everybody's calling the material trash to each its own. Everybody has different tastes, different likes, things like that. But with that being said, it is a royal block, color blocking. And uh, yeah, I know a lot of people don't like that suede, but it is what it is. Um, I did say in the beginning that I didn't like the suede. I'm still 50-50 on it, but it's not a trash behind shoe. Um, and plus two, I just saw this post on Jordan 1 Squad. Now, if you remember the shot at backboards back in the day, the 3.0, 
Uh, they had that gloss effect. Nobody liked that. And then when as soon as you saw somebody take that matte, uh, that gloss effects off and they made it matte. So that's what they did to the Jordan 1 uh, uh, Rory Reimagine. Someone did a uh, matte finish on it and it doesn't look too bad. Some of the comments I read were mixed. Some people were like, all right, it's still not any good. But as you can see, people took the matte off it. Now look, I'm not promoting that you take the matte and, and make a matte finish out of the suede or anything like that. I don't know how to do it. So if you decide to do it, you're on your own. I didn't tell you to do it, but I'm just showing you and giving you ideas of what can be done with this shoe at this price point too, as well as people, have, you know, kind of taking it and, you know, like I said, added that matte finish to it and changed the look of it. And, you know, you don't really have that suede. So it might be a little bit more appealing to some people. So that's something you can take a look at. But again, don't hold me responsible for anything dealing with that if you decide to do it or if, you know, if you want to have somebody do it, that's up to you. I'm just giving you the information so you can see. Those are the top five shoes that I picked. Now, there are plenty more. I know there are other shoes and there are a couple other ones that I wanted to put on the list, but I figured I'd just throw those five out for right now. Christmas time is coming up. I know people have family members um, and things like that that you might want to get for or people you know that might be sneakerheads or loved one or anybody like that. Just give me some ideas or even for yourself. Maybe you want to pick those up. Ideas that you can do for yourself. So under retail, save some money. Uh, let me know your thoughts and opinion down below about some of these picks. Let me know what you think about that Royal Reimagined too, how they took the matte finish and uh, what you think about that too as well. If you want to go check it out, you can go look at it on Instagram, but I threw up some of the picks anyway. But again, I appreciate everyone who's been tuning into the channel. Again, thank you for all the support. Continue to watch all the other videos. And again, stay blessed, stay safe. And remember, you're never too old to drip. Stay blessed. See you in the next video.